25 years was the total prison sentence given to three conspirators in a massive drugs operation here at Teesside Crown Court. The so-called Donner Network trafficked crack cocaine in Middlesbrough and into the northeast from a base in London. Customers would call a telephone number linking them to a communications hub known as Donner, who would then contact a street dealer to organise a supply. The court has heard how drugs were sold and stored at addresses in Middlesbrough. Judge Les Spittle jailed the plot's overall administrator, Albert Toms, for ten years, and his second-in-command, Lloyd Ormsby, for seven years, for their roles in what he described as an evil trade which caused untold misery to addicts. Wycliffe Clark and Marcus Stedman, both said to be street dealers, were each jailed for four years. Meanwhile, three more defendants, who were said by the judge to play lesser roles in the operation, received two-year community orders. All six admitted conspiring to supply Class A drugs. Detective Inspector Dave Lamplow, who along with other officers was praised for his efforts in the complex investigation which involved more than 400 officers across the country, said he was satisfied with the prison sentences. I think, I think it's created a, a, a very large gulf in the supply of crack cocaine for this whole region. Um, more importantly, or as importantly, uh, there has been a, a significant reduction in, in acquisitive crime uh, throughout the Middlesbrough area, crimes such as burglary and robbery. Uh, so it's had a massive effect for the, for the people of Middlesbrough and the, and the Cleveland force. All we started with here was a telephone number, so we had to put somebody en on the end of that phone. So what we were doing was effectively tracking phones throughout the UK, and we were tracking them down the East Coast Main Line and at King's Cross Station, utilising CCTV footage so that we could try and identify people from a crowd that we knew had been spotted previously in the Middlesbrough area. And then we moved on to try and locate them in, in London, house them in addresses, and then find out their true identities.